Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another animation video that is a Facebook loading animation. So whenever you are going to open your Facebook and whenever your pages get gets loaded, there are three bars that are going to appear on your Facebook that are going to load. So we are going to create that today. So without wasting any time, let's start it. So this is our HTML index page. You all know it. And then you know that we are going to style it in the CSS page. So first of all, to take the HTML, so HTML5, and we also have to link our styling sheet to it. So we're going to link it with our link.css link tag where we are going to link our styles.css page. Here I'm going to create a class called loader or just load. So inside this load, I'm going to create three divisions. One division in the same way, I want the three divisions. I'll just copy it, paste, paste. So this is how we have created the three divisions here and we make sure that these three divisions are empty. The next what I'm going to do in the styles.css, I'll be using dot load. Inside this load, the divs that are there, I'm going to style them. But as we all know, before loading anything, we just have to style our body. So for the body, I'm just going to give margin. So if you're going to do this margin and padding properly first is your uh, your styling that you're going to add for your pro for your website will be perfectly added because first there will be certain margin and padding already pre margin and pre padding that are already applied to the programs first we need to cancel them by giving zero zero then you can add your content and style it however you want so background color i'll again give it as black now inside this division let me give display the contents that I am going to print you in inline block. Inline block is inside a line there should be blocks. You will understand it. Then the position for these should be absolute. Absolute. Width of these should be about 20 pixels. And background for these will be usually it will be blue itself. So I'm just going to give dodger blue. Then loading 1.2 second cubic bezier 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5, 0, 0.5, 1. And this should be in finite. And you know the animation works only if there are keyframes. So let's add the keyframes. Let's identify here and I'm just going to add the name of the animation that you have given here. The same name should be here and add 0%. Okay, here you need to add an E. Save it out. And let me just add the height over here. I'll give it as 50 pixels. So now you can see that there is a one, there is one a rectangle that has been visible here. Now let us see it. Zero at zero percent, at zero percent from the top, it should be at eight pixels of height, and the height of uh, this stick should be. 64 pixels okay now can you see this it's a moving now in the same way now if i just remove this height i do have this stick that is going on can you see this it's going now let's see one more thing at 50% and at 100% that is complete from the top I want it up to 24 pixels and the height of that should be 32 pixels perfect now you can see this it's beating properly now in the same way here I have just styled it for one bar so in the same way, we have styled, we want three bars here. 
So I want to style for all the three bars. So in order to style all the three bars, uh, we have a pseudo element that is n the child. So what do you want to do? I'm just going to take dot load division is to n the child of one. For this n the child of one, at from left side, it should be eight pixels. And the delay of this, that is animation delay. There is a property called as animation delay wherein it is going to delay the time. So it should be minus 24 seconds. So I'll just save this here. So now you can see that there are two things that are going on together. Right? In the same way, now what I will what I'll do is I'll just take this. And copy it, paste and paste. So this is for the child 2 and this is for the child 3. And from the left side, the child 2 should be at the difference of 32 pixels. 32 pixels and the child 3 should be at the difference of 56 pixels. Now you can see all the three are moving at the same time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decrease the animation delay so that we are going to get it. So this I'm going to make it as minus 0 0.12 and this I'm going to make it as 0 seconds. So let's save this. Now you can see how smoothly it is moving and this uh, these are the three dots or three bars that we can use in our websites which are derived from Facebook or which are uh, inspired from Facebook. Okay, so let us see it in the preview. This is in the preview. Let us let us see it in the live server. This is how the loading button shows or the loading content shows here. This is all for today's video. For many such a video, subscribe and hit the bell icon. We'll be back with the again, again with a new video. Till then, keep learning. Bye bye.